Hey, today I'm reacting to Succession Season 2, Episode 9, titled DC. With that title, I expect we're going to be going to Washington, D.C. this episode. Don't know exactly why, but I'm guessing it'd be Logan maybe trying to make another deal with the president. Or maybe Connor is making some big moves. But that doesn't seem as likely. I really loved last episode. It was a perfect combination of comedy and suspense and, and shocking reveals. I don't know why I didn't see Rhea becoming the next CEO as a thing, but it turns out that happened. Shiv was trying to take her down the whole episode, but in the end she thought it might be a good idea to let her have it knowing what's gonna come with the crew situation. Kendall's really all over the place, seems like he's just a nomad at this point doing raps and then ditching that girl he seemed to like, but then he didn't like her, I don't know what's going on with him. So hopefully we see more of that this episode. But the final two episodes of the season, I really feel like they're gonna ramp up hard and it's gonna be an amazing season finale please like comment and subscribe check out the patreon for full link reactions plus they get them early but let's just hop into episode 9 going for a stroll logan he looks sad Focus tonight an exclusive interview with waystar oh god floor james weissel it's all out violence theft plus a host of other crimes all of it hidden by cover-ups and corruption. They're doing a hate watch party. What disturbs you the most? Well, Susan. Well, Susan, I'm a piece of shit. I'm a weasel and I'm scared. <laughs> millions and millions of dollars paid out over decades. And he can bring up that they're trying to pay him off right now. Guests overboard injury and uh, unexplained deaths. And what are you saying? Oh, God. Kendall. I don't know everything. Oh, but he doesn't I, know uh, everything now. <laughs> I know what the stories were. Company HQ, did they know this sort of cover-up was going on? Well, there was a certain amount of oversight. Uh, Jerry Kelman. Jerry. Jerry. Kelman. Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Jerry alert. <laughs> Bill Lockhart changed things up. Wow. So Fuck Bill. Yeah. They're... We got, are they going to bring up Tom next? Sure. We met him. Kendall Roy. Ken. You know, they tried to clean things up. And uh, recently, Tom Wamsgam. Wamsgam. Uh, oh, there he is. A lot loose ends. Hey, uh, banging on the tom tom. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, I can't watch it anymore. This horrible. Bullshit. It's bullshit. Clearly, Sandy's backing. Clearly. Definitely possible. You wouldn't say anything. Don't you think we should watch those so we can have a response? I've got 50 fucking people paid to watch this shit. <laughs> Literally. Very bad. Would you agree? Bad? Yeah, obviously it's fucking bad, Frank. We're talking here about how bad. <laughs> he still hates Frank. Here are the talking points. No proof, no victim voices, and nothing that new. Blame it all on Lester, man. I think we say the truth. It works sometimes. Right here, and the family. Do nothing of this. So we throw Mo overboard. This will be my plan. I'm afraid we give up Bill because he should have let us know what he discovered rather than clean up without telling us the details. Oh, guys, does that mean a theory of Tom, too? I don't think there's going to be paper that shows anything beyond Bill. Greg. I mean, Bill tried to clean up. I like Bill. <laughs> it seems like Bill is where the buck stops, though, right? Oh, God. Bill's getting thrown under the bus. I, mean, I can't say I really feel bad for him. I mean, he is covering up a horrible thing, but what can you do when you're in this situation? Do you want to keep your job? It's hard to have strong morals and make money in this kind of business. Yeah. So, I think I just uh, turned down a quarter of a billion dollars. Whoa. He, di he didn't accept. Uh, I, think, I think I'm going to... I can drink these drinks, right? These are drinks for people? Looks like they're... I mean, that much wouldn't have went to him, right? Quarter of a billion? Mm hmm Instead, you're trusting Dad? What? You'll never make that much working here. Not even close. So it's not final. And plus, um, he's so sturdy. Like, who knows how long I might have to wait. I'm good. <laughs> I was just talking to my mom, and she said, apparently, he'll leave me five million anyway. It's pretty good. Five's a nightmare. Is it? You can easily retire off five, man. Five will drive you un poco loco, my fine feathered friend. You just gotta live a normal life. Still good life. The strategy is we're letting Bill take it. And when okay. as far as Bill, kill Bill. It'll blow over in 48 hours. Kill Bill. Well, no. I'm just off the phone and it's definite. Either Gil or Gilliard 
We're gonna call for hearings. Oh fuck. Okay. What? Wait a minute. Oh god. This is what DC is gonna mean? Yep. Buckle up, folks. We're gonna get an invite Bad. to the great national latrine. Now Mr. Fuck is going to Washington. No! Oh. <laughs> this now he's losing it who will they want to testify uh well, they'll want dad okay now but we won't accept that protect the, the egg chamber can you just not accept that see who can jam this the fuck up did we just say fuck him fuck congress roman yeah i don't think that works have i shocked you uh shareholder <laughs> we're fucked definitely not looking good for logan here I want your help. Someone needs to run to the store for smugs? <laughs> Ten bad minutes on camera in DC. That could be it. Yep. The end? Definitely have to say the right things. I need you to chase down the sovereign wealth money. Okay. Again? Can you do it? Yeah, I guess if they get privately bought, the stock can't tank. <laughs> I mean, I can say I can do it. You can do it. I mean, Roman is good at talking to people sometimes. Uh, yeah. Sure, Dad, I got it. I don't know. Check. Uh, Marsha? Okay. Is that okay? Are you okay? Do you have someone that you can speak to about shit? You want me to speak to a shrink? <laughs> what? You may want to screw your mother, but I am okay in that department. Thank you. Great. Well, it's just nice that we can talk about okay. these things. Logan's a tough guy who never talked to a therapist. Too old school. Yeah, great. You know, to Asia to get ten billion. There she is. Up, How you doing? Worried I've agreed to be CEO of a dumpster fire pirate death ship. You? She just saw this coming. The magazine was one thing, but uh, this. I didn't know he was gonna pipe up. I feel like I'm your prophylactic, a rubber you slipped on so I can protect you. Really? That was Shiv's plan. You're golden. It's fun to be the new bride, rearranging <laughs> apartment putting flowers out by accident or design you have left me very little room definitely shiv's design well tough night <laughs> thank you couldn't think of anyone better to see us through reyes angry is there a game on seriously that was a mountain out of a molehill <laughs> as i understand it we have nothing to be guilty about nothing eh I look forward to uh, getting more involved. Toodle pip. Thank you. They look scared. That's all. I've got it. It's nothing. Look after yourself, okay? Hmm. She seems very upset by this. Makes sense, but wouldn't she try to like help more? She knew this coming in anyway. Hmm. Will Rowan be able to do this? Definitely a tall task. I think there's any chance you guys have the muscle to take us private? Is that something that's interesting to you and your dad? Yes. Really? Well, that's... That's good. Uh, could you and your, uh, your bum boys here come to Turkey, like, tomorrow? Yes. We can absolutely do that. Get that right, bum boys. Uh-huh. Let's fucking get into it. I can pitch. I'll pitch the fuck out of it. Mm. <laughs> Better get to work. Great session, guys. Watch that press doesn't leave you exposed on the turnover, and you fucking got this. Rome? Rome, don't say anything. Yeah, uh, hey. Really proud to be associated with you guys. What the fuck can I tell you that you don't already know? <laughs> you get... Because <laughs> you guys are a team, and, uh, when a team... Oh, God. ...is a team, it can't actually physically be beaten. It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> go fast, go, you lovely bastards. Go, you lovely bastard. What am I supposed to say? I mean, he could have just said something a little more basic. Cut it short. They always got protesters. Hmm. He's gonna talk with the Senate. Oh, fuck, Bill. What's Bill doing here? Oh, no. Jer oh, no, Bill. Hey. Wow. Oh, God. Poor Bill. India. Yeah, I'm rooting for you out there. Uh -huh. I don't know if you're going to be in a little bit. Phil. Jerry. Okay. I think he's coming just to, like, be nice and make him feel bad. I mean, that is just nice. Stall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> peace, Billy boy. 
Yep, they're gonna crucify you up there. Okay, here we go. This would be nerve wracking. Hey, Jerry, do you want? Can I? Can I do one more? You want to do? You've done the prep, okay? Can you stop know. angsting? You're okay. angsting me. Okay. Okay. He's good at acting really nervous. Filibuster. Every minute you're speaking, you are stealing from them and their horse shit. Extend the essay with longer words. And maybe just try to enjoy it. Yeah. Thanks, Greg. Thanks. I'm surprised Greg's still here at, <laughs> in all these type of big meetings. Good luck, everybody. Okay. Bye now. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, this dude. Is he gonna speak against it? Somehow? Order. This is a tremendous opportunity. This is once in a lifetime. You get to buy into the US media landscape at the very top. Is he fibbing at all? Or are they really that profitable? Are you sure you can bring it together? <laughs> Absolutely sure. Jamie here, he has structured some of the biggest LBOs in history, right? Guilty as charged. Who's here? Decent amount of equity. Concern. Hello. Uh, they with you? What's going on here? The uh, the guy in the black vest has a gun just here. You live in America. You should be used to that by now. We're good, right? We're good. We're good. Okay. But uh, we're all going to go with these gentlemen now. Are they under attack? Uh, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, Dave just walked out. <laughs> we'll go with him now. Okay, can I just ask what this is in regard? They're not getting like kidnapped or something. <laughs> My security guy, Dave, he just walked out. Can I ask where Dave went? Dave's, Dave's not coming. Oh God. We'd like for Dave to come. Dave's downstairs. We'll go without him, please. John. Uh, Dave. This is very concerning. So we're better with these guys, okay? It's uh, all good. Oh no. There could be a situation, but. Luckily, we're being looked after. Oh, we're being looked after. Okay, That's nice. It seems like some sort of attack is happening. We need to go. Yeah. No. Oh. No. Protocol. Taking their phone. This is an inside job or some other people. Concerning. You accept he offered jobs to young women who would sleep with him. That was some time before my time. Uh, Lockhart, my, uh -huh. my predecessor. But within the... <laughs> you gotta speak him over him. He was called Mo, but always behind his back. I never thought about it. Molester, that never came up. Um, you could just say it was like a friendly joke. Didn't know it was serious. <laughs> it's just an off-color joke that was 100% based on truth. In hindsight. He just seemed a bit like one. <laughs> well, if he seemed a little bit like one, don't you think it behooved the people in charge to find out if he was one before you sent him out on ships full of young women? And I mean... How do you get out of this questioning? You just say nothing? This isn't business, is it? No, it is not very business. What is going on here? <sighs> Don't worry. This is all normal. Yeah, really? great, because this feels <laughs> normal, man. Uh, it's just an, an administrative action function. Yeah, good, great. And, and <laughs> hey, look at that guy not being allowed to leave. Us. Oh, my guy. A gathering here now of us and some, some other investors. And it's a threat now. Or some kind of um, anti-corruption. Kind of guys and so you don't bring so many powerful people in one spot what if we you know what if we if we don't want to go is that cool yeah. oh god what's happening it's uh, it's a kind of party where you have to go this is very bad but on thanksgiving last year a number of boxes were targeted specifically greg they were signed out by oh gregory hirsch is that someone known to you, Mr. Wamsgans? Oh God, Greg. Uh, no, no, sorry. No. No. You no, say no? Tom? You have to say yes, you dummy. Oh yes, yes. Sorry, yes. Known to me, yes. In that sense, yes. <laughs> what did you think I meant? <laughs> that I knew of him. <laughs> I know, I know him and his face. Uh, do the phrases "human furniture," "footstooling" mean anything to you? Oh God, that's coming up. Uh, I, Senator, I use a variety of um, incentives to enhance optimal performance. What? Give him a B plus for bad plus terrible. Definitely was not doing a great job. So that was all fucking me. It hit me from every fucking side. It's okay, Tom. You did good. Okay, what the fuck is going on? I'm getting. I was fucked from. <laughs> right in the meat, the fucking sandwich. Hey, calm down. That was 
most likely outcome. Oh fuck. Oh. Greg screwed too. Nothing bad is happening here. Oh man. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> and I just turned down a quarter of a billion and now I'm going to jail forever. Cause <laughs> Outside. He Out fucking side now. You can't panic the whole room, man. Because uh, much more of that and we're fucking toast. Maybe it's time to drop some of our research. Hmm. What does that mean exactly? Sorry. What a shit show. <laughs> shit show. I mean, what'd you expect? Did Tom go fully off the script or did they not prepare him that well? Just wondered if I could say hi. Feel like after everything we did together, there's some residual goodwill. Okay, look. Nope. We're not gonna soft pedal shit. So if you want the easy win, go for Bill, and we'll fold, okay? And then we can keep the invites to ATN flowing and the smack. He's thinking about it. I'm sorry. Tell your dad it's not personal. We've just got something really, really good now, and much better than Weissel. Bullshit. What? I'll give you a clue. It actually rhymes very precisely with you're fucked. What rhymes with that? Hmm. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, listen up. Not good. We have a problem. They have someone else for later in the week who could probably kill us. <laughs> Victim. Used to work under Lester. Also knows a bunch of victims personally and details. Feels they're prepping her. Oh, God. An incoming bogey. Oh, uh, they got her through Senator Gilliard, who you know, right, Rhea? A little. <laughs> what is this? This supposed victim. Couldn't you meet up with her, you know, talk? Find out what she wants. Apologize. Pay her off again. Please. I mean, what else are you going to do? One last time, just in case, did you witness any assaults on your ships or take part in them? No. I'm yeah. not dignifying that fucking question with an answer. You can both fuck off. Oh, God. What is he going to say when they ask? <laughs> Naomi. Hmm. Keep fighting a good fight. You got a lot of con heads out here pulling. <laughs> really? All right. God bless you, sir. Thank you. He's got supporters. How we uh? How we doing? Good. Good. All good. So. Okay. And can I ask, not to make this all about us, but are they going to shoot us at any point? <laughs> no one is getting shot. Look. Oh God. Okay, but with the Zanal here, there's some interest in the deal. The deal. Um, okay, uh, the deal. Yeah, all right. He's not very concerned about that right now. How could they be sure their investment wouldn't be blocked by your government? Well, that's a good point. My father has a lot of sway. Okay, and uh, you're the target of another bid. Yes, that is not a problem. Okay. Mm, they brought up some really good points there. Oh, great. I mean, should we see if any of the other hostages want to cut a deal? This could be a bumper time for us. <laughs> Didn't even really think about all the issues that would, like, they can't just sell whenever they want. There's still a bunch of legal issues. Senators, when I read of the abuses of power alleged in my cruise division, that was the worst day of my life. <laughs> and frankly, I don't know if I'll ever forgive myself. <laughs> we will investigate. Classic speech. The victim is compensated, and every act of wrongdoing punished to the full extent of the law. Thank you very much. Perfect PR, pretty much, but... Your cruises run for profit, your news runs for profit. Is that any way to keep the lifeblood of a democracy going? I mean, why wouldn't you run a cruise for profit? For a misapprehension, Senator, in this country, all news is for profit, sir. Yeah. As I'm sure you know, you'd have to go to China or Russia for that. Oh, snap! <laughs> Got him. Exploitation is at the heart of your business. I, I would, of course, disagree, but uh, in terms of practice, malpractice, um... He's doing the stalling tactic. Let's cut the BS, shall we? Because it's... <laughs> What this feels to me it's about is your personal dislike of my father. Ideological hatred of his newspapers. Kendall and Logan seem to be doing a good job here. Good, but, good, good. And as much as you like to accuse us of bias, uh, today you're the one with the bias. Boom. Hit us as hard as you can. We can take it. We have nothing <laughs> to hide. 
<laughs> Connor in the background. But yeah, that was really good. Kendall's showing up lately. Look, I'm not going in. Seriously? You're the CEO. You're leaving it to me. Siobhan, you don't have to do this. If she speaks and she's compelling, then that's it for my family's company. So, I do have to. Rhea, like, not doing it from, like, a moral standpoint, or she doesn't want to, like, look bad. And I want to say, right off for the record, gentlemen, I like you. It's a weird thing to say. And I have taken one of your cruises with my wife. He seems biased now. Delightful. Well, thank you, Senator. That's very kind. That's just a weird thing to say. Just show your bias for no reason. Hi. Hi, Chivroy. I'm not sure I should... I, I thought this was going to be a very unofficial thing with Rhea. An unofficial thing? No, oh, she's busy. I, I just don't know if I feel comfortable. Oh, but I'm not here to stop you testifying. Sure. <laughs> trying to understand what we did wrong and how I can fix it. Well, it's a very convenient time to show That's up. That's good. True. My dad, a couple of months ago, you know, he screwed me over. Made me an offer that wasn't real. You can't relate to her, man. I'm gonna be very frank with you. Cards on the table. I don't trust him. Okay, actually. Harassment? Yeah. Visits at night, turning up at work, weird email stuff. I mean, I... I, I, I oh, God. Don't want to accuse you. No. It's perfectly possible. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's outsourced security, so who, who knows what could be happening. It's probably worse than you think. Oh, God. She's taking the humili humility approach. approach. I don't think that stuff will happen to you anymore. You don't think? Being honest, I don't know. I want to fire these bastards, and I want you to help me. Sure. I mean, she's either being genuine or super manipulative. Is this the right forum? Okay. Here it comes. Nope. On <laughs> A better question. What do you actually want to happen? I want people to hear what Lester was like, how he treated me and other women. They would let her do that, wouldn't they? And the good thing is, you're going to have a lot of people on your side, but the other people, normal people, they will doubt you. They'll say terrible things. The normal people would doubt you? Your life is going to get ripped apart. Your home, you'll want to move. Oh, God. Here comes the threats. I just think it's what I have to do. No, I get it. It's good. Passive-aggressive threats. When they Google you, yeah? Pages and pages of filth and lies. First line of your obituary, last line. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I will destroy hmm. the men who ran that dirty operation. I will kill them for what they've done. <laughs> and I want you to help me. We will be the best, cleanest operation in the world because of you. She's too good at this. Can I trust you? No. Nope, no. Not at all. Actually, no. Kira, <laughs> you can't trust anyone. You just have to be smart. You need to think about what's best for you, huh? She's doing the right persuasive tactic where you make it, make them think it's their idea, that, but it's actually your idea the whole time. She's too good at that. Roman Roy? Yep. Follow me, please. Oh, boy. Good luck. Yeah. Uh... Are they getting, like, interviewed or something? Cheers, Bill. Well done. They didn't really go at Bill that hard, did they? Appreciate your support. Bro. Are you kidding? So many memories. I should write a book. I could. Oh, there's a threat. Everyone's so passive aggressive. You did it. She dropped out. Personal reasons. Yeah, you did good. Wow. Thank you. That was amazingly horrible. I'm sorry if it was rough. No, it was. It was fine. We're good. Kendall handled it really well. Rhea's here, but she she wants a word. You remember Naomi Pierce? Yeah, yeah. She came down to, I, to support us. <laughs> Is Ray going to back out of the CEO job? Hey. Will you tell me what happened? You can ask me anything. I don't know what to ask. You tell me. Okay. It goes a long way back. Did you ever have an editor who put a hand on a sweater? Okay. Things were done differently in those days. Was Lester McClintock a friend of yours? No, I wouldn't say he was a friend, no. Acquaintance. You told me that. Well, friend, close friend, colleague, I don't know. It's kind of a, a superpower, isn't it? If you can lie to someone like that. <laughs> yeah. Lying is a skill, sadly. And I just wanted to protect you. I don't need your protection. Well, it might be wise to keep clean on certain areas. Ignorance is always bliss. I've said it a thousand times. So what do you want? I'm not sure I want to work for you. Fine, you've got... There we go. 
Tell me what you want and let's get into it. You don't understand. I'm out. I don't want to be part of this. Oh, come on. There we go. Fuck off. <laughs> Little Miss Prem. <laughs> you knew. You know who I am. I think it's changed. And I, I, I don't know if you care about anything. <laughs> That's a good point. Fucking words. Come on. Stay. I can always find someone else. You know, you're fungible. I am not fungible. Okay. You're as fungible as fuck. <laughs> then plunge me. Go ahead. Try. Well, that was a quick stint. So, Freya's gone? Yep. She can't hack the hate. Shiv's plan worked perfectly. If Kira holds and we kill Bill, you think we're through? Honestly? No. You're never gonna get through. No? It came out like a fighter, but I'm hurt. We're hurt. When Bill's on maneuvers, he won't go quietly. You can't blame Bill now. Time for the blood sacrifice. Oh God, what is that supposed to mean? Is she gonna have to decide between like being CEO and like sacrificing Tom? That's the end of the episode. I don't know how Tom could be the one to blame for that, but I don't know. They could try to push it on him, and that would make for a good a good TV moment to see if Shiv. Will this take the job or stick with her husband? Definitely feels like she'd take the job at this point. That was a good episode seeing everyone having to defend themselves. Pretty much a PR nightmare that they had to overcome. I thought Kendall and Logan did the best. They were able to avoid questions and spin stuff back on others, on Gil. Tom wasn't doing a great job and definitely think something bad's gonna happen with him. Maybe Greg too. Rhea leaving so soon, um, kind of surprising, but definitely seemed like she has strong moral compass and doesn't want to stick with the company that, you know, hides all that stuff from her, but didn't expect it to be so soon. Seems like Shiv's plan worked perfectly, and she's definitely next in line again. Roman's whole situation, still kind of confused by it, but seems like a really scary situation. Definitely seems like he could get that deal done with them, but all the legal issues that are going to come with them trying to buy him will like slow it down for sure. Definitely feels like a ramp up to the season finale next episode. Super excited to get into that one. I've heard a lot of you hype it up and I know it's going to be a good one. But that's all I have to say for this episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.